Hi class, this is Dr. O'Connor. In this video, I'm going to solve a few problems using conversion factors. So, um, in the previous video, I showed you how to set up conversion factors from equivalences. Briefly, we know that 12 eggs is equal to a dozen, and what I can do is write two conversion factors for each equivalence. When I use the factor label method, that means that I can treat the units like numbers. So that means we can divide and multiply the units so that unwanted units will cancel out to give us our desired unit. So let's do a few examples here. And here we're asked to convert 406.32 centimeters to yards. So first thing I do is I find my given that's 406.32 centimeters. And then my desired unit is going to be in yards. So I need to find an equivalence between centimeters and yards. Um, that's going to depend on what you know. I'm not going to memorize all of the conversions. All right, I just won't do it. So I do know that there are two point five four centimeters in one inch okay and I know that there are 12 inches in one foot and I know there are three feet in one yard so my road map looks like this we go from centimeters to inches to feet two yards. I need three conversion factors, one for each arrow. Now, if I would have realized sooner that there are actually 36 inches in a yard, I could have cut that down to two conversion factors. So as you can see, there are many different ways to do these problems. I'll stick with this for this problem. So I have my equivalences. I go ahead and start with what I'm given. That's 0.32 centimeters and first thing I want to do is cancel out centimeters so we're going from centimeters to inches I put the 2.54 centimeters on the bottom and that's one inch centimeters cancel if I stopped right here I'd have an answer in inches but now what I need to do and I go back to my arrow here I need to convert from inches to feet so I know that 12 inches, I put the inches here because I want inches to cancel out, is one foot. So now I convert from feet to yards. So again, I want feet to cancel out. I know there are three feet in one yard. So feet cancel and I'm left in yards. So let me put this into my calculator, 406.32, and I'll divide that by 2.54, divide by 12, divide by 3. Whoops, that wasn't a 3. I have to redo this. Sorry, guys. Uh, 406.32 divided by 2.54 divided by 12 divided by 3. Okay, I get 4.44. The conversion units don't affect my significant figures. So I can have five significant figures here. So to be 4.4436 yards. In the second problem, we're asked to convert 2.4 times 10 to the 4 milliliters to pints. So we need to, let's do our road map here. We're going from milliliters to pints. So I basically just have to go with what I can remember as far as equivalences. I know I can convert milliliters to liters, and I can convert liters to gallons and I can then convert gallons to quarts 
and then quarts to pints. Again, I'm sorry about this pen. I'm really having a problem with it today. So my equivalence from milliliters to liters is 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. And from liters to gallons, I know that 3.78 liters is one gallon. I know that one gallon is three quarts. And I know that one quart is two pints. Again, in this case, I have four arrows, so therefore four conversion factors. Um, somebody else might do the problem completely different, maybe with only two conversion factors or maybe 10 conversion factors. As long as your equivalences are correct, then you will get the problem correct as far as the answer goes. So let's start with what we're given, 2.4 times 10 to the 4 milliliters. And we'll go with the first arrow. We're going to convert milliliters to liters. And we know that one liter is 1,000 milliliters. Milliliters cancel. Now we're going to go from liters to gallons. I want liters to cancel out. So that is going to be one gallon is 3.78 liters. And then liters cancel. And then I'm going to go from gallons to quarts. I know that one gallon is equivalent to four quarts. Gallons cancel. Then finally, quarts to pints. And I know that one quart has two pints. So sorry about this pen again. So let's skip my calculator and I'll calculate this. So I have 2.4, 2.4 times 10 to the fourth divided by 1,000 divided by 3.78 times four times two. And I end up with 50.79, well, let me try to erase that, 50.79 pints, but I've only got two significant figures here, so I'm going to round that to 51 pints. Okay, let's go to the next problem. Here we're asked how many carbon atoms are in 1.32 grams of carbon. So our given is grams, and we need to go to atoms. So that's our desired. So we're given, we're told that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms in 12 grams of carbon. Okay, I can use that then as an equivalence. So that's going to allow me to go from grams straight to atoms. So I have 1.32 grams of carbon. And from the equivalence, there are 12 grams of carbon for every 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms. I put this into my calculator. That's a lot of atoms, by the way. 1.32 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and we divide that by 12. 
I get six point six two times ten to the twenty two atoms. So again, the key is finding what is given, what's being asked, and then an equivalence. From the equivalences, you can go ahead and write conversion factors. Use your conversion factors to go from one unit to another. Here we're told that a drop of water is 1 20th of a milliliter. How many drops are in 32.8 milliliters? So if one drop is 1 20th of a milliliter, that must mean that 20 drops are in one milliliter. Okay, so I'm being given milliliters and I need to convert that to drops. So we have 32.8 milliliters and from our equivalents we see that one milliliter is 20 drops. So 32, whoops, 32.8 times 20 is 656 drops. Okay, so that's it for these problems. Keep practicing with your conversions and also make sure you practice converting between metric units. Everybody have a great night. Bye-bye.